Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and actually welcome to Season 3 of Object Competition. So as you can see by my screen and the title of this video, we are doing the planet with the largest rings, so J1407B. So if you don't know this object, we'll just go ahead and look it up, I'm sure most of you know about it, uh, watching my channel and probably just seen it if you're interested in space and stuff in general. But yeah, this planet has an absolutely enormous ring system. So here we can see just my version of it. I've had this copy for quite a while. And it has an absolutely massive ring system of around 40 to 60% the size of the Earth's orbit. That's just the size of its ring. So it's absolutely insane. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what you guys have curated for this competition video. So without further ado, I'll quickly just, um, I'll quickly just lower your mind. So this is what mine looks like. So it's pretty plain. I mean, it's got four bands. Just a nice, simple build for it. So I think I used it in my documentary video um, quite a while back. Yeah, there it is. So just a nice, simple uh, version of it there. So that's uh, my copy there. Obviously, you guys can't vote on that one, though. Um, so, right, let's see what you guys have curated now. So... Let's go ahead and uh, see. Uh, uh, yeah, J1407. Okay, here we go. Right, so there's my copy there. And then we got five from you guys. So starting off with Cause Object. Let's see what he has prepared for us today. So here we go. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and see. Let's put it just next to my one here. Okay, so here we go. So we can see, I think he said it's got a hundred bands. Uh, let me see in the chat here. Yeah, it's got roughly a hundred-ish bands, which is pretty cool. So good, it's good. And yeah, no rings, 100 bands. So there we go. Looking good. I'm liking it. So it's got a nice mixture of, uh, obviously, gas giant colours. So dark browns, great. There's a bit of grey in there. Some lighter orange shades as well. Yeah, I rate it. Looking good. And obviously, this planet is could supposedly be a brown dwarf. So obviously, if you wanted to heat it up for a little bit of extra effect, I mean, you'd probably get something like this. So yeah, it does look really, does look pretty cool. So there we go. There is cause object. So next up, we have got, let's see here, uh, object menu. Hey, why did it reset my search? Oh, yeah. So J14, okay, here we go. Right, next up we have got Sirens Objects. This one's looking very hot and spicy, so let's go ahead and place it in here. Wow, we, okay. Right, so here is his one, so we can see it is very, very uh, hot looking. Looking good, I have to say that does actually look really, really cool. So here we are, so we can see it's got some bright, fiery colours on it. Obviously, supposedly this object is like a brown dwarf, so it's probably not going to be the coldest object out there. Uh, let's have a little look at it without the temperature. Okay, so that's what it looks like normally. So it's got a dark spot effect on it, so negative contrast, a very fiery appearance anyway. But obviously, when you add temperature to it, it really does make it... Oh, that's crazy. But it really does add the feel to it. I mean, that does look really, really cool. So there it is there. Yeah, I like it. Looking good. So there is Sirens 1. Okay, next up, let's go ahead and see what we've got in the menu here. Okay, oh, let's reset my search again. God, no, don't do that. Right, okay, so next up we have got Total Anarchies J1407B. So let's see what he has prepared for us here. So we can see it's a more bluish coloured one. Okay, looking cool. So around 700 degrees. Let's have a little look underneath all of the temperature. So let's lower it down. So that's what it looks like underneath. So it's got a nice mix of sort of purpley, bluey shades in there. More of like a hot Neptune sort of appearance to it. I'm liking it. And I'll see with the temperature up, that's what you get. So yeah, nice, a nice look to that one there. All the objects are looking so unique and different so far. Even, even my one compared. Every single object is completely different. It's really, really cool to see everyone's sort of interpretation of this object. Because obviously we don't know what it exactly looks like. Um, so yeah, it's up to the interpretation of the curator of the object to really have the feel of what this object could look like, which I think is really cool. It keeps resetting my darn search. Come on, game. That's really annoying. Right, so who have we got next? So next up we've got Pluto Neon's one. So let's go ahead and place his one in here. Okay, so here we go. So his one again is completely different to anything we see before. So it's got more mixtures of bluish bands, some almost like a yellowy colour band in there, like a pale orangey brown, some more blues, and some green colours. So looking good. Also, if we want to give it some temperature, uh, let's warm it up. So uh, somewhere around 500 degrees. Five. Okay, so somewhere around there if you want to give it the brown dwarf sort of look. So there's his one. Right, and then next up, lastly, we have got... Oh, it's dumb. Things keep uh, resetting my search. That's um, that's going to get quite annoying. Right, next up, we've got Stuck in 2D. So the fifth object and the last object of today's competition. So let's see what he has prepared for us here. So J1407B. Here we can see another version. I think it's... You could probably... Uh, I'd say it probably compares to Cores the most um, in design. But maybe a mixture of uh, Pluto Neon and Total Anarchies in there as well. But yeah, there you go. So it's got obviously a fair amount of bands. I think it said. I think he said it took him uh, an all nighter to, to make this um, thing. So it's uh, pretty hectic. Oh no, never mind. No, that was Pluto Neons. So this one apparently took an all nighter. I think he said to set it up or something. And yeah, this is stuck in two Ds. Sorry, I got those guys mixed up there. So yeah, stuck in two Ds. One here. Obviously, if we want to give this one some temperature effect as well, let's go ahead and uh, increase it. 
So around 500, 600, there you go, get the sort of glowing effect to it. So yeah, there we go, right. So let's just get them all lined up now. Um, we'll have to make some of them a little bigger. Uh, so how large is this one? So this is 3.25 duplets. Okay, so let's put them all roughly to uh, 3.25, just so we can get them all in a nice line. 3.25, there we go. And lastly, this one, uh, 3.25. Okay, and then let's just drag them all in order here. Uh, and then we'll go through them all once again. So let's... Uh, uh, that one's uh, that was the last one we looked at, so let's put it there. Okay, cool. Drag Sirens one a little closer, and then uh, starting off with a uh, Cause one over here. Okay, and then we'll drag it. We'll drag it next to the uh, original one. Actually, I put in here. So here we go. Okay, cool. Let's get them all in there as well. Okay, looking good. Right. So obviously, if you want to see them all in the big ring, there you go. It's all the objects surrounded by the big ring that this planet has. Absolutely insane how large this ring is but yeah here we are right looking good so yeah, let's go from all the ones again so here we have my one originally obviously you can't vote on this one very very plain then we have the first one here this was submitted by core and yeah it's got a nice mix of browns a lot of gas giancy shades in there as well obviously we added a bit of temperature to it just to make it look more interesting as well so there it is there just want to give it an increase in temperature makes it more orange obviously if we want to decrease it it'll go back to its normal state there so looking good as his one next up we have siren a super fiery colored one let's just rotate it up correctly as well so here it is there i mean it does look really brown to wharf like it. obviously yeah very bright colors in there obviously the temperature you add to it really makes it what it is as well so once we do that yeah really oh my god right so it really sort of makes this one look extreme obviously let's lower it down a bit more so there you go there is siren's one next up we have total anarchy's one so this was the more ice giant hot neptune looking one of the bunch so let's uh, go ahead and travel to this one so there we go there, nice sort of mixtures of purples and just sort of bluey lavender coloured shades in there as well, looking very nice indeed. So there is his one. Right, and then next up we have Pluto Neon's one, so this is the one that had like the light pale pastel colours um, designed onto it as well. So there is his one here, so let's just uh, line it all up. And then lastly we had Stuck in 2D's one here, which also had um, a nice mixture of sort of paired, more pale coloured bands, but it did compare slightly to Core. I think it's kind of like a mixture of Core's one and then Pluto Neon's one in the way this one looks. So, yeah, there is his one, guys. So, yeah, there you go. There is all of the submissions for today's um, competition, guys. So, if you would like to vote for this, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And then you can uh, vote um, on the server reactions who you'd like to vote for. Remember, the winner, the winning object, gets included in this year's Size Comparison 2021 video. So, it'd be really cool to see one of these in that video um, as well. And obviously, the more competitions we do, the more of your objects will be included in that video. So, yeah, let's uh, see how many competitions we can get going before the 1st of August, roughly. Because that is um, obviously when I'm going to release um, and plan and get the video release for the size comparison. So we got to August the 1st, roughly, to do these object competitions and just see sort of what cool objects you guys can design. And then obviously the winner got included in that size comparison video. So it'd be a nice, really little, real cool little uh, thing um, for the winning objects there um, as well. And obviously we'll do like a full season overview of it all once it all ends as well. But yeah, there we go. So there are the objects. So a massive thank you to everyone who submitted their objects in today. And also a massive thank you to Stuck in 2D and Siren for helping me organize this um, on the Discord server as well. So yeah, massive thank you to them but yeah i'll get the vote set up as soon as this video releases guys and yes yeah, so, um make sure to join my discord server if you'd like to participate in the voting and obviously if you guys would like to uh, participate in the object competitions themselves make sure to also join my discord server and um, link in the description we post all of the news in there about what object to pick next and um, when you need to upload and everything by so yeah make sure to join my discord server if you are interested in uh, submitting in these competitions but yeah, that all said and done, guys. A massive thank you for watching today. Good luck to everyone in the competition who submitted. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.